ग्रीटिंग्स नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर जमाल ए खान एंड आई स्पीक ऑन माय चैनल हेल्थ वेल्थ एंड लाइफस्टाइल दिस इज अबाउट एट्थ ईयर ऑफ अवर प्रेजेंस इन यूट्यूब एंड आई एम सो थैंकफुल टू माय ऑडियंस इन हु हैव बीन लिसनिंग मी ऑल अलोंग इन हिंदी एंड आई यूजली गेट मैनी कमेंट्स दैट आई शुड ऑल्सो बी डबिंग दिस चैनल इन इंग्लिश सो आई थॉट Uh, because most of the parts of india don't speak hindi they are well versed in english uh, mostly in south so i thought let me introduce my subject to you people also it would be interesting for you to understand what we do what is our strength and what is our background so i am basically a medical microbiologist dr sharmin my wife is a biochemist medical biochemist we started uh, cancer immunotherapy long back about 20 years ago and we have a strength of treating around 10000 patients with this protocol this immunotherapy is basically uh, ma- managing the immune system by your own blood cells the white cells which we isolate from your own blood cancer patients blood sample and transform these white cells into uh, immune cells the master immune cells known as dendritic cells and they finally tame the t cells uh, to do the job in the body the t cells basically these t cells will help in identifying cancer cells and knocking them down so this is the natural immune response which is usually generated in all of us which protects us from cancer let me explain to you in brief how it happens it is very interesting to note please try to understand please don't go with for, with the pronunciations I am not a, a guy who has been born in an English family. I learned English by reading books, by attending the classes, and by speaking uh, in classes for my MBBS students. And I have been a teacher. Uh, the gist of the subject is more important than what uh, how I am speaking. So please forgive me for my English if I am speaking not proper English. But I will try to explain to you uh, with science what is basically. in cancer what is happening so we all develop cancer cells this is something very unique which i am telling to you you are never knew about that we do develop every day cancer cells in our body and they are knocked down by the immune system immune system has a power of differentiating between the normal cell and the abnormal cell so the number of cells which i am born with at birth is all identical to each other and they don't have any receptors which will be identified by the immune system as abnormal so supposedly i have 100 cells at birth or 1000 cells or 1 million or 1 trillion whatever number they are almost resembling each other although they are functionally different but structurally they may be different but by uh, all means the immune system has a power that it has already recognized these cells of their own now the cancer cell has a peculiar property of differentiating the normal cell to an abnormal cell in its behavior in its pattern as well as in its structure so there are some structural abnormalities which are represented by the abnormal proteins or the abnormal bands in the genome of a cancer cell this has to be identified by the immune system and immune system is like a gate which will allow the normal cells to pass through and the abnormal cells are knocked down but if this system fails at particular point the cancer cell will develop before it reaches to its five stage division the immune cell will usually recognize but before it but if it reaches to five stage de- uh, differentiation from the normal like one daughter cell producing another daughter cell third daughter cell fourth daughter cell and all these cells are abnormal and the immune cell has been silent all along this is the origin of cancer at this stage we say the cancer has propagated but please believe me that the number of cells are minuscule very small and if you do a radiological scan probably you will not be able to identify that you have cancer but the immune system has definitely failed for that particular mutation which has happened in the cell differentiated it into abnormal cell and allowed the cell to progress further so in cancer means 
there are two defects. One is the immune system has not identified the cell and the other is the mutation is happening. So, the mutation is happening and the immune system is not recognizing. Now, what we do in uh, oncology, when we develop cancer, we go to the oncologist, he treats us with chemotherapy, he treats us with radiation and he treats us with surgical oncology also. Like a breast cancer lady will go to a doctor, she has a big breast mass, it is identified as cancer and the surgeon operates upon her and she receives chemotherapy. She may die in 20 years, she may be living for 20 years or she may die within one year after treatment. The difference between the two groups, identical patients, identical treatment plans, but the varied, varied behavior of lifespan is based on immune system. When you treat a lady uh, with conventional oncology, you are not giving her any immune booster response or immune res uh, therapeutic response. So, immune system may normally develop because of chemotherapy. It happens. How it happens is also very interesting to note. When we bombard the cancer cell with chemotherapy, the cell exposes its internal structures to immune system. Now, the immune system gets a fairly second chance to identify the cancer. At that stage, if immune system recognizes the cancer cell, it will not allow the cancer cells to further progress. So, you treat in particular time frame and your immune system will protect you for 20 years. The other lady will succumb to the disease after her treatment when she has been completely free of disease, but her immune system has lagged in. What will happen? The new cells will emerge and one year is a long time period that these cells will go and lodge at different places in the body and form new cancer formation, new cancer cells, new cancer groups and clusters which will be identified the, by the PET CT scan and she will succumb to her disease or she may get second chemotherapy. And I will try to add another point here. Please try to understand. You have to listen this video multiple times to understand what I am speaking. It has been seen that if there is a relapse in cancer after chemotherapy, relapse again if you treat relapse by chemotherapy, by conventional oncology, relapse will again have happen. So, one relapse will lead to other relapse in intermittent free periods are there, cancer free periods will be there, but relapse will always happen repeatedly. So, my theory or the theory of all immunologists world over is perfect in this sense that the immune system only gets one fair chance to redevelop itself after conventional chemotherapy for the first time. If it has failed now, after you treat with relapse, with chemotherapy, again cancer will happen because the immune system now will not develop against that cancer. So, relapse, ovarian cancers are very good example of this particular uh, pathology. In ovarian cancers, you treat cancer, patients become all the more better, in 3 years of time or in 2 years of time, it will have a relapse again. And then you treat and then relapse and relapse and that is how, how ovarian cancers are said to be potentially dangerous to life they will lead to death usually in most of the patients. So, my point is why not to tame the immune system once you do the treatment with conventional oncology or if you are doing conventional treatment, you may simultaneously start your immune therapy during chemotherapy plan. If you have a chemotherapy period of 15 days interval between two chemotherapies, Third day of chemotherapy is a good day for immune therapy. Both will work in tandem. Both will have their independent action. Both are synergistic to each other. Nothing in antagonistic. If your oncologist is saying that look, you would get yourself treated after three months, once you complete your chemotherapy, he is at loss. He is not understanding what I say or what usually immunology says. Although he has become a doctor, 
although he has read the same books which I have read, but because he has has a super specialization, he has lost the interest of third year MBBS, fourth year MBBS, when tuber immunology was taught. So, be, being a basic scientist, microbiologist, immunotherapist, I know what is the importance of immunotherapy. Based on my knowledge of 10,000 patients which I have treated in 20 years, I am trying to make you explain. This is the golden period when you treat yourself with immunotherapy along with chemotherapy. Don't give your body time to say think about 3 months after. Because you are fighting a grave disease which requires all scientific evidences, all scientific treatments to be treated, to be given to you so that you get benefits out of it. This is my preliminary topic. I will appreciate your responses from this video, your comments, your subscriptions, your promotions which will make me more eager to present to you more cases, more evidences about what we do and how immunotherapy or immunology plays a big role in your lifespan. A role which is undefined, which has you have not ever known about. Your life all depends upon immune system. So, thank you so much. Jai Hind. Namaskar.